Dear diary, I have been trembling. Dear diary, I have been thinking about. You know what, let's just fucking cut the bullshit and jump straight into the introduction because the fucking Dear Diary shit is just too much. So I had this idea to lock out some of the outfits I wore to different places in video form. So I have been filming here and there for the last months, but I was able to film at four different places I went to since I'm still learning how to vlog. So in this video, I will put together an outfit diary where I will showcase four exciting outfits. Exciting. 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 Outfit. 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 Each outfit shows a different side of me for every occasion. I will be talking a lot in this video, so I will cut the intro here and let's jump straight into this. So before we start the video, please click the subscribe button below. Also follow me on Instagram at very.snatch. I'll definitely follow you back. I'll post photos of my outfits that I show in this video on my Instagram as well, so you guys can check that out. Other than that, let's get started. The first outfit is this blue jeans and white shirt look. I wore this look to go on a vintage shopping trip. This place I went has tons and tons of vintage items. Not just clothes, but also vintage decor. It was an appropriate outfit to wear on this day because the weather was really nice. I'm wearing this white shirt from the Korean fashion. If you haven't seen my last haul featuring items from them, you should check it out. Link will be in the description box below. These jeans are from DSTOD Jeans. I have had these since 2013. So to make them look a little modern, I decided to roll the hem up all the way for a more trendy look. For shoes, I'm wearing these chunky loafers to complete the outfit. And please ignore the hat as I was trying on to see if I want to get it or not. You'll find out in a future clothing haul video. But overall, the trip was a success. I really like this outfit and I am looking forward to wear these jeans more often. Maybe with a new t-shirt, maybe with another button up, I don't know. But I really like how the jeans look on me and I'm excited to wear them again. So now, let's move on to the next outfit. <laughs> a date with all my friends. The weather was once again amazing, especially for a quick picnic date. I couldn't ask for more. I was so glad that no one was at the park but us. The girls put together a cute picnic and it was really nice to finally get to sit outside, enjoy the sun, and catch up in person with all of them. So for this occasion, I decided to wear all black. I'm wearing this pleated black shirt inside and put over an oversized black blazer on top. For the bottom, I'm wearing these Adidas bicycle shorts. These shorts are so comfortable and every time I wear them, I don't want to take them off. It's like wearing a box of underwear that is appropriate in public, I guess? I have seen a lot of people wearing bicycle shorts with sneakers, but for me, I decided to wear my shorts with these junky boots from Bershka. Although this outfit doesn't scream picnic to me, but you know what? I really I enjoy, enjoy wearing, wearing whatever, whatever the fuck, the fuck I, want. I want. That was so mean. Stop everything. I just wanted to say that I'm so fucking tired of people saying like, Oh my god, you cannot wear that to that. You cannot wear that outfit to this. Like, you cannot. Oh, that's not appropriate. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I can wear whatever the fuck I want. If I wake up and I feel like wearing all fucking black to a picnic day, I'll fucking do it. I don't want to fucking wear like a flannel shirt and some denim shorts. That's not me. Our picnic date was really nice. I didn't want to leave, and by the way, in case you're curious, we're all vaccinated. 
So this is the product. Um, so as you can see here, the first shot is right here and the second shot is right here. Next, I went on a mini vacation to Joshua Tree last week and decided to bring a cute outfit with me to take some photos. If you haven't noticed, I'm trying to grow out my hair for a new hairstyle and the wind here reminded me of why I should just cut my fucking hair off. It was so fucking windy, so strong that my hair looked like I just jumped off an airplane. As you can see in the clip, I was trying my best to pretend that nothing happened, but the wind decided to give me a new hairstyle. So when I arrived at the Airbnb, I found out that they had chairs that matched with my two outfit. So I had to put it on to show off the chair. This is a custom made outfit in two. The color is very hard to wear. I honestly don't know where I could wear this. But I'm glad I decided to take this outfit with me on this trip to show you guys. For shoes, these are from Raph Simons for Calvin Klein that I bought last year. Overall, I got a lot of cool pictures and the vacation was much needed. So yesterday, I visited my friend's house and yes, I did not fucking shave, so please ignore that part. Actually, you know what? Just ignore me completely because the main part of this video is this gorgeous queen over here. Her name is Daisy. She's wearing a custom Louis Vuitton fur coat all over. For shoes, she's wearing these custom-made Rick Owens boots. And sitting next to her is this ugly, ugly piece, piece of, shit. of shit. Me. I'm wearing a t-shirt from Acne Studios. I really like this t-shirt. The fabric is amazing and it's very flowy. I'm not sure if you can see my leather shorts, but they're from Zara. And for shoes, I'm wearing these white Doc Martens to match Daisy's white boots. We took a lot of photos together and of course she outshined me. In fact, this video should be just Daisy's outfit diary featuring very snatch because Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like. Follow me on Instagram at very.snatch to see all my outfits. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.